If you're anything like me, your favorite part of career mode is definitely developing a good young team. So in today, I'm going to explain why I think the Mexican League is the best and most underrated league in the entirety of career mode for any kind of youth development. We'll be skipping over some of the obvious choices for bigger leagues. Everyone knows that Germany and England pump millions into their academies, and that's why they have so many wonder kids at the moment. Similarly, everyone knows the Eredivisie has a crazy reputation for bringing through young players, so we won't really be comparing to them either. But the league that I always recommend for any kind of youth save is definitely the Liga MX. Mexican football has always had an up and coming superstar. You had Carlos Vela back on FIFA 11, Herving Lozano on FIFA 17, and even Diego Lanes on last year's game. There are a ton of young, exciting, attacking players who have come through the Mexican youth system. Outside of the youth academy areas of the league, the only real downside to playing in Mexico is the no continental competition, but I do really like the way that the league is structured. Compared to other leagues where if you have a poor start, your season is pretty much over, in Mexico a season basically only lasts half a year with 17 games and no cup competitions. From here, the best teams compete in a playoff system for the title. A lot of the teams are a similar level as well. Tigres sometimes dominates in career mode and sometimes it's Monterrey not far behind them and other times it's the exact opposite. Beyond these two teams, you also have Atlas, Chivas and Pachuca who are all considered to be three of the best youth academies in Mexico. However, if you fancy going for a Mexican only save, there's really only one team I can recommend you go for. Chivas are one of Mexico's most successful sides. Along with long-term rivals Club America, they are one of only two teams that have never been relegated to the second division, and they restrict themselves to signing only Mexican nationals. According to a study of the favorite football teams in Mexico, Chivas Guadalajara is the most popular team in Mexico, with 44.2% of fans in the country supporting the team. The Chivas youth system is one of the most famous in Latin America, with players like Javier Hernandez, Carlos Vela and Carlos Salcido all coming through, as well as former failed wonder kids Carlos Fiera and Eric Torres, it's clear to see how much Chivas really do invest in their youth academy, and it's paid off with them getting one of the best youth recruitments in the entirety of the continent. While it does give access to some of the best youth in their country, the single nation policy does actually hurt Chivas overall. Mexican teams price their homegrown talent higher when they know there's interest from Chivas because they know they can't go abroad and find someone better and cheaper. If you're interested in this kind of career mode, playing with a big restriction, this is a much easier rule to follow compared to Bilbao because on FIFA you can directly see which players are Mexican. If they are Mexican, they're eligible. The final thing to know about Chivas is that it would be a huge fan base, and because of the huge fan base, you also get a pretty big transfer budget compared to the rest of the league. Of course, most of this will be used to sign Mexican born players from other clubs for that inflated fee that we mentioned earlier, but it also gives you a good head start to get a really good youth academy in the first season by going for five star, five star scouts. But you can only really scout Mexico and maybe the United States to see if they have a Mexican sounding name. Unfortunately, the stadium is not in the game, but every single team and the league is fully licensed on FIFA 22. If you're interested in a few more tips on why you should keep your save realistic or more fun, then make sure you subscribe because in my next video, I'll be sharing some of the things I do to keep my youth section extra realistic on career mode. If you're not feeling Mexico as your next adventure, you should also consider having a look into the Belgian, Austrian and Romanian leagues, especially the latter. Each one of these leagues can qualify for both the Europa League and the Champions League, so you've got something different compared to Mexico there, playing in Europe and also having a continental competition. And every single one of these three leagues has a single team at least with an outstanding reputation for developing youth players. You only have to read through some of the former players at Anderlecht, Salzburg or Vitoral before they merged with FC Farrell Constanta to get an idea why some of these saves would be fun. I can't imagine ever making a full video on them, but if you are interested in a Romania save, definitely look into Haji's kids or the Vitoral team he brought up to the first division. The team was known for promoting young talents from its academy, which earned them the nickname Haji's kids. With the FIFA legend becoming the club owner and the founder, while also acting as head coach and manager, Vitoral Costanza had a major success in the 2016-17 campaign, where it became the first side from its region of Dobruja to win a national title. They merged with a club owned by another former Romanian international, Georgi Popescu, who happens to be the brother-in-law of Haji. 
and this club is now on FIFA 22. So why not have a look into how Farul Costanza like to play and see if you can win something with kids in Romania. I know that was quite a crazy long tangent even for me, but if you enjoy that little suggestion at the end, no matter if you choose Romania, Mexico, Austria or Belgium, make sure to follow me on Twitter, join the Discord and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this that I'm putting out. If you would really like to support the channel, please do consider out checking out the merch store, becoming a channel member or donating directly by pressing the thanks button below the video. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and a look onto youth development in FIFA 22. Of course, you can apply everything here to FIFA 21 or FIFA 23. So leave a comment who you pick below and I love to read every single one of them. Thank you all for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time for another FIFA career mode video. As I mentioned, we've got a tips video coming out next week. So make sure you stick around for that as well because it will give you some good insight on how to keep your youth academy more realistic and in my opinion, a lot more fun. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers and goodbye.